we often went to China uh, by car and it's it's a dirt road actually although it's one of the most important roads in North Korea but once when coming back to Pyongyang I believe we um, could not enter a, a small town we were passing through we wanted to pass through and 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 so we had to wait at the entrance of the small town and we we asked somebody who was passing by uh, why what was happened and and he said well it's in there's somebody is being executed right now in the main square and so we had to wait for half an hour and and then we were allowed to to go on and people were coming from the city center towards us along the road walking and uh, they were they were subdued somehow they didn't talk much but i don't really i i did not see the execution but i do not I do not forget these moments. There's another moment which I found quite depressing uh, that was in the summer, sometime in the summer, and uh, we woke up, it was around midnight, and uh, now the, the diplomatic compound is perhaps three or four kilometers away from the cities from the mere city center. So we, we were woken up by loudspeakers and it was some, some voice was yelling something in Korean and uh, we couldn't sleep anymore. It, it was raining, hot night. And so my wife and I decided to find out what was it and and we didn't know how far away it would be but we started walking and at at that time there was hardly any electricity in in Pyongyang and because it had been cut off the 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 city was really completely dark almost completely dark and so we walked and following the noise and and ended up in Kim Il Sung square that's uh, that was after a walk of three quarters of an hour or so and and we found that children of perhaps 10 to 12 years old were practicing um, to march there on the they, they were preparing some festivity at that time and but it was raining it was pouring down and there was this horrible voice still and ordering them to do this to the to do that and there was no joy in the air. They didn't like it. They were simply exhausted and tired. And but I, I remember very well the um, a, um, a, a small girl, perhaps again ten years or twelve years old, who was sleeping in the rain on a, on some pieces of clothes or something. She she was completely exhausted and tired and had had fallen asleep there in the in the rain and and that impressed me because i found it so obnoxious to to have these children exercise in the midst of the night <laughs> 